I would say that's the appropriate. Time, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. And I think <coughs> what we could do is is look at their schedule <coughs> and target a meeting, you know, moving forward, so that our first next meeting uh, with this committee, we would have those dates in place. Okay, I will send you a copy of their schedule. Thank you. And I'm not sure um, if this is a perfect time to talk about this, but I think the schedule moving forward, um, maybe Dave and Kim could, and Amy could speak a little bit to what the next step's going to look like and how um, the work that we've put in the past couple weeks might impact the schedule and, and how we can try and get back on track. Right. Yeah, I, I would say that we're not prepared today to to know fully what the schedule is going to be going forward, but you know, we, we have to figure out strategies to to take the, the three three to four weeks of time that you know, we, we went through this process and figure out how that's going to affect us going forward. You know, I'd say as far as still being able to do the enabling work in the summer of 2020, that's still feasible because there's, there's a pretty clear delineation right. between those documents and whatever's developing with, with, with the rest of the project. Um, it's really now going to be about um, reducing the, the gap between that enabling work and when we can actually start the, the full construction project. Right. And that's, that's what we're going to be really, we're going to have to discuss as a group as to right. how we're going to get there now. The enabling work is essentially independent of the balance of the project, so right. we'll get that done on a separate timeline. Uh, and as Dave mentioned, we'll be assessing how this three-week three impact will be addressed and we'll work toward a recovery schedule. Well, Kemp, is it fair to say that the amount of detail that we spent here doing in, in schematic design and going through this cost management, we've really taken a bit of the bite out of what might go through design development as well? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Okay. I'm, I'm hoping that's good. Yeah. That's the, our objective. The other thing I'd mention on our scheduling is if we can uh, make sure that we build in this sort of parallel work that has to go al along that you guys maybe don't handle directly. And so that's approvals, any sort of RTM updates if we decide that the project is going to uh, be, be beyond what the initial appropriation was to make sure we've taken all that into account for those approvals or interactions or input from those various town bodies and anybody else who needs to weigh in, that all that's taken into account. And I think someone made the point, let's make sure we're early birds when it comes to getting on those agendas oh, or yes. alerting those folks. When we build out that calendar, if there's some way that we can build in those parallel work streams, just to be mindful of them and say, okay, if there's a shift in what you guys are doing, then that impacts the calendar with these other regulatory approval boards or whomever needs to be engaged. In our schedule, we're, we have to shift it. I think we're going to have to shift to essentially the next months of meetings. You know, we have built out the schedule as far as what had to happen between going to P&Z and going through all those steps. So I think now we are targeting a series of January mm -hmm. type first applications. It's likely going to be the February cycle. So we've we have those dates in the schedules just to matter <coughs> which ones we're now going to tie to and, and set as the goals. But I'd say with the with the you know three about three weeks, it's safe to say that we're we're going to be in the next month's cycle of meetings. But they're they are all in there and we'll update that accordingly. And if there's any time that <clears throat> any aspect of your work could be selectively accelerated such that the timelines with those regulatory boards is not delayed, mm -hmm. uh, given that where we are, it might actually be helpful to consider that, not to want to shortchange any anal analytics or anything that you need to do to get this right. But if there's any extra amount of work that could be undertaken, just to not, not slow that process, mm -hmm. I think that's worth considering because um, if I had to pick, that's going to be a potential source of delay and we might as well get right out in front of that. I mean, I just look at recent building projects and how much time some of that's taken, uh, especially architectural review board stuff. I mean, they're gonna wanna weigh in on a lot of this stuff. We need to get in front of them as soon as practicable. The, um, well, so I'm gonna ask Mike to give us a heads up when we should go back and talk to the neighbors, you know, put together. I, mean, I think we have enough, at least for the, the, the Mansfield Avenue view. Yeah, yeah, I would say now. I mean, I think a month can we go up. We were close, but with the changes. With the changes in the linear yeah. design and stuff like that, so let's um, keep that in mind, too. Right, and I think we wanted the architectural review board meeting, or at least the input when we're talking about just doing the input, to have right. been taking place. Oh, before we have that meeting. Right. right. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Yes, sir. I did hear back from the state. Uh, it took them a while, but uh, I, mean, I heard back from the, they wanted to talk about ELP and some other aspects of building. Mm -hmm. uh, we're moving forward with it with their processes for us. Um, 
but we do have to go back there again. So we do. I was going to mention that um, in addition to the local regulatory agencies, uh, now that we're complete and approved on schematic design, we have an SDR meeting uh, with the, the state representatives at OSCGR. Uh, so I'll schedule that. Yeah. Like, you know, this afternoon I can reach out to their um, admin assistant and, and get us on the docket for early January. Right, and we put it. We submitted. That's another estimate that we submit before yeah. that meeting. So we'll mm -hmm. listen when that is and Bruce will. It's actually it's it's. No, it has no, to be a new format. It has, it has to be a different uh, format for the right. state. Well, Costas was down here in Norwalk giving away 80% of the dollars. He's more <laughs> he kept, generous this time around. <laughs> hey, Kip, just in line with that, maybe that's where you were going. Katie and I spoke, and to, to Mike Alfieri's point, we need to think about in the new year a schedule for going back to the Oxridge school community, Luke. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I think came up in a conversation with Katie, Dave, this is where you would know the timeline is, as much as they'll be excited to see the look, the feel, the design of the school, it's them understanding the security aspects of it when the shovel goes in the ground. What's that look and feel going to be around security for the school, for the students, and all that type of stuff. So I think that'll be an important component to update the school community on. Sure. And I think the key there is, you know, once we, once we truly finalize the, where the building is exactly, you know, where it's going, then we can then we can really hone in on what the site logistics are. We can talk about in detail what those separations are that will be in place and even, you know, give some representative photos or things of other projects to show okay. what what that delineation looks like where there is there is absolutely no intermingling of construction and school operations. So we can, you know, that's fine, we'll prepare for a meeting with that. And we just said as far as timing for that as well too, that we would probably want to try to schedule the meeting with the neighbors and the meeting with the Oxbridge um, school community um, to be close together. Um, I certainly wouldn't want us to be in a position where one group felt that they were in the know and, and one was in the dark. So, just okay. Wouldn't it be more of a, you guys are in the neighborhood, wouldn't it be more of one meeting from an efficiency I, standpoint? I would think that would be fine. Um, yeah. I was, I, you know, I was thinking, whether you have kids in school or not, it's yeah. one community. Yeah, I would think. I'm sure it's school yeah. community meetings. Yeah, of course, I just a thought. The PPO. Yeah. 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 So, if I could just read, so back to the schedule for a minute then. So, would you mind just like laying out what the next steps are and what the length of the DD phase is and what we, how, you know, what we need to do next? Um, what the next um, meetings will look like. Without having um, kind of scheduled and, and discussed it amongst ourselves, I'll, I'll just let you know that the original schedule for DD was a 12 week design phase and a three week, I believe, estimating. Mm -hmm. Yep, 12 weeks, three weeks, and then one week for reconciliation or you know, getting so, it ready. So. so a month, so, so that would be um, 16 weeks total before CDs was just to begin. Um, again, we'd like to strategize a recovery schedule. So, you know, I, I don't want to promise anything um, yet without discussing it, but, you know, we'd like to make sure that we come in um, and, and don't extend the entire schedule by that uh, additional four weeks, but that we can compress that one and then also look to compress the next phase um, one way or another. So. And about halfway through DD is when we start when we prepare regulatory submissions. So I think mid January to late January is probably when we're going to be talking to the ARB. As Dave mentioned, we're probably cycling one month ahead on those. We'll do what we can to try and reel it in. But, uh, well, as a religious matter, right, you guys should never be waiting on us. Right. So if there's anything that you come across that well, I need some decision or input and you don't let us know when a day or two goes by, just given that tight time frame, just never let that happen. Just right. call, we'll figure out a way to convene the body if we need to, get town officials that move mountains mm -hmm. to make sure that you guys are not delayed in the slightest waiting on anybody from Darien. Thank you. Do you were, you, were you able to connect Amy with uh, Eric from the EPC? Um, I haven't, I haven't okay. had needed to yet. Okay, when you do. So then we'll receive a similar document that you created for the SD, which will lay out the meeting dates the work and yeah. what's, mm -hmm. what work is expected at each meeting and what we should bring to it. Mm -hmm. Great. Anything else? 
I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Too. Yeah. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.